firstly, let's uh, kick off with your view on the market. We saw a nice rally last week, uh, driven by the likes of African copper. We saw a nice rebound in that copper price, perhaps, and that what uh, what drove the uh, the share price. But overall, uh, what are your expectations for this week? How are we seeing the market trade uh, with it being two trading days so far? Yes, the market is quite uh, good at the moment. It's it's a little bit black. We see a lot of. Um activity on the market and then we also have the the dci up by 36 basis points so we expect a lot of activity this week in terms of activity uh, we've also seen a lot of results coming through south africa is also we're also digesting a lot of results from this end but uh, on the breweries front Chaba reporting some strong uh, numbers for the period you've got turnover growth there of 23 percent gross profit growing by some 19 percent uh, what were your views on the volume growth that we saw coming through for the period yeah, Sichaba is very interesting because it has a very good dividend payout ratio of about 95%. And then we also see the, pri the, the an increase in, by 23% because of basically the amendment of the, the levy, which actually uh, is one of the reasons why the price, the, 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 the growth was actually, the turnover is actually has, has grown. I mean, that is, of, of course, an issue that uh, many alcohol companies have to face with across the board, increasing regulation, increase, increasing taxation. Uh, would this be one of the reasons that you might uh, shy away from investing in a company, li a company like Sachaba, or are we just seeing such strong earnings coming through and such strong demand coming through that uh, that counterbalances all the concerns around increased government uh, regulation? We do see a lot of demand in, in, the, in, the, in the stock either way. We do see the, a lot of demand in the stock. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the uh, tourism space, Toby also coming through with some results there. Tourism operator over in Botswana. Uh, what type of numbers uh, did we see coming through on that end? Yes, for Chorba, revenue grew up by 19%, which I think is actually very good, despite the soft market and with what is happening in the Europe, uh, you find that Chorba is actually doing pretty well doing pretty well but of course you have to look at how sustainable earnings like this are in light of the fact that you know you have a lot of international visitors coming through to Botswana are you seeing a diversification in terms of the markets that uh, that Botswana taps right now in terms of tourism revenue yes yes absolutely so so would that be a reason that you'd invest in the likes of Toby even though you've got a softening in the tourism market uh, traditionally coming through from the likes of Europe Yes, and then as well, Chobe has been paying, uh, the last one that it paid was a very good dividend of about 21 table, which we think is actually very good in the market. So a nice return to shareholders on that end. Let's move on to the property sector. Also results coming through from prime time during the, re uh, the, during the period. Uh, nice increase there in rental income. Is this a sustainable trend that we could see going forward? Yes, yes, we do because uh, with, with, with prime time properties, uh, they actually recently acquired the investment, uh, new investment properties, as well as uh, the rental income increasing. And then we also have the, the CBD phase one, which has already completed and they've already secured a blue chip tenant, which I think is something that, that's great. What are your thoughts on the diversification of their property portfolio right now? No, I think it's actually good because I also now uh, on the edge of acquiring Bitego Junction as well as uh, the G4S acquisition.